Good morning. Afternoon. Afternoon. Oh my god, I even told myself, don't say good morning, and then I did it anyway. Hi, how are you? Evening pump. We never get evening pump, but we've got evening pump right now. So I've got Michelle here with me. You know me, my name is Sherry. So we're going to do some slightly different tracks than we did last week. So it won't be a complete repeat, but you will see some favorites. So Maybe you challenge yourself a little bit more. I don't know, who am I kidding with that challenge yourself more stuff, but uh, I don't know, maybe you've been dedicated. And if so, <laughs> awesome, you're doing better than me. All right, so we know you guys don't have a lesson on smart bar set at home, almost nobody does. So you're gonna have to improvise and that's fine. Improvised workouts are still workouts technically. So just get anything around the house that's heavy. Uh, people have been using cans of soup, you can use bottles of detergent if you're one of those people who stock up. You can use dumbbells if you have them. Dumbbells if you have them, kettlebells if you have them, resistance bands if you have them. You can use jugs of water, jugs of milk. You can do legs with just body weight. You can do it with body weight. Honestly, if you have been sitting on your butt as long as I have during this whole situation, body weight is sufficient, <laughs> very sufficient, because I've been adding body weight. All right, so if you're ready, we're going to start with a warm-up, so light weights to start. So grab whatever you want. I'm going to start with some five-pound dumbbells, and you just got to hit the music. All right, here we go. Let's just make sure no one's telling us they can't hear anything. Hi, Danielle. All right, let's get in one big shoulder roll. Legs under the hips, feet are soft, deadlift. Two, two, tip forward, down. Down, up, and up. You're going to time this so you're in constant motion. And you can forward for a minute. Back stay long and straight. All right, stay with this, and we're going to add on. Deadlift, down. Now upright row, same tempo. Elbows come high and wide. Whatever weights you're using, stay close to the body. Both for the deadlift and the upright row. Good. Keep it coming. Hip. Rise. Keep those shoulders down as you pull the elbows up. One more. All right. Same combo, only faster. Single high. Dip. Rise. Lift. And lower. Chest is lifted. Core is braced. And just don't stop. Four more like that. Dip. And rise. So now you're getting a little warmer. Concentrate on that space between your shoulder blades and use it to pull yourself upright. All right, we got a new move on deck. High pull, use your legs to push the weight up and down. So the point of a high pull is to propel weight up using your legs instead of your arms. Your arms are not the power, they're just the steering wheel. New move, slow down the row. Down to the knees. Pull the weights in. Keep the elbows close to your body. And keep it coming. Anchor the wall behind you with your elbows and out the ceiling. Two more just like that. Note that timing. Nice and slow. Really focus mentally on your lat muscles on your back. And use those muscles to draw the weights in. Now, single time. Knees, belly. And rise. Feel good. Now when you tip forward, your knees are going to soften slightly, but don't bend them. How about four more? Pull it in tight. Really brace the belly when you tip forward. A little extra core work. You should be bracing through the whole class. All right, new move. Slow feet and press for one slow reach. Pull it up slow. Put the elbows and press. Good. It feels a little weird with the barbells. I don't mind admitting it. But it's still a good you to lift up the barbell. We're just used to the, the I'm saying the wrong thing. We're used to the barbell, not the dumbbell. There we go, one more. Take a chance on you. Take a chance on me. Single time clean and press. Clean and press. So slight bend in the knee as you grab under the weight. 
So the first part of the move, the clean, all about the legs. The second part, the press, all about the arms. Get under. Two more. All right, this is gonna get weird. Bring the weights down onto your shoulders, open your stance, single squat. Down and up. Hips go back and down. Make sure your hips move before your knees do. Push them back. And don't stop. All right, heels go wider, stay with those squats. Drop and rise. One more. Left leg back. Single lunge. Down and up. Dropping the back knee down. Straight down towards the ground. Front body comes to parallel. You're aiming for 90 degree angle. One more movement side. Other leg back. Good transition. Drop and rise. Check yourself for those 90 degree angles through legs. Four more. Last two, so we're transitioning to deadlift. Weight in front, two, two. Down, and up. Uh, how's that heart rate? Woo. Did you forget to turn your watch on? I did. We're gonna finish with wide rows. Here we go. Hip, pull me on the behind wide. Up to shoulder level. Squeeze those shoulder blades into the spine. One more. We're gonna And hold up your top. Ha! Nice. All right. Let's turn it on. You know what I always say. If you don't measure it, did it even count? Did it even happen? All right. So squats. Squats, this is gonna be a little tougher because you wanna go heavy on squats. And you probably don't have anything evenly matched around the house heavy enough. Unless you shop at Costco. Those big bags of rice are there. You go. Those will work. But honestly, you can just do this with body weight because we're going to do some calf extensions in this. Everybody's favorite, right? So I'm going to try it with 15 pounds on each on each shoulder, which I did last time, and it was very difficult, mostly for balance. But we're going to do it anyway. You ready? I uh, guess. So we're going to go through all three stances. Start with your feet just outside your hips, whatever weight or lack of weight. It's gonna be fine, okay? So, soften those knees, brace that core, lift up, nice and tall, good posture. We're gonna start with a two two squat. Here we go, down and up. Nice and smooth. You don't pause at the top, you don't pause at the bottom. You are in constant motion, like a heavenly body. Four more, down and up. That's the first time I ever said that. I'm going to keep that one in rotation. I've been thinking about the planets a lot because I've been coming on. All right, new tempo. Down three, up one. Down, 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 and up. Knees track towards middle toes, but try to keep your knees behind your middle toes. Here comes our combo. One single and a single with a calf raise. Here we go. Drop, rise, add that calf raise. Now the calf raise. May not be for you. That's okay. You lose the calf raise. Just do singles. Now, triple pulse. Three, two, one. Calf raise. We're not getting rid of that yet. Keep it coming. So with a nice controlled pulse in the knees, give me four more. Get up there. Last two. Hold here. Heel to wider. Squat two and two. Down. Ah. All right, round two. Pretty much the same as the first. Maybe a little tougher, but not by a lot. Four more like that. This round. We've got our focus out of the quads, even though we're still using them. And into the glutes. Oh yeah. We've been neglecting those for too long, haven't we? Yes. Down three, up one, down. So slow descent. Quick shot to the top. Keep the knees soft though. Combo time. One 
on squats. I would say, I don't know, listen to your body. I'm going to do eight pounds. I could probably do 10, but I know how the song goes, so I'm not going to. <laughs> but if you think you can have the tens or eights nearby, whatever weight selection you got, just be ready to change if you need to. It's an oldie, but a tough one. All right. Is the music from the girlfriend? Yes. Okay. You asked a lot. No push ups, though. That's sweet, isn't it? <laughs> All right. All right. So, whatever weapon you've chosen, you're going to start with them over your shoulders. We're going to chest press two and two. Down, down. Can you just pick up a swing, Michelle? Keep it smooth, you pull the elbows wide. Not too wide. You want the elbows to land somewhere between your ribs and your shoulders. It's almost like a 45 degree angle. That's how you get better chest engagement. Three and one. Down, 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 and up. Nice and slow. Really fight those legs on the way down. Good. Quick shot to the top. Keep the elbows soft. Don't walk them out. All right, let's open that throttle. Single, long, and push. Nice. Check those elbows. You're probably laying on the ground, which is fine. Don't let them touch the ground. Stop just above it. Oh, let's turn up the heat a little more. Ball and back pull to the top of the Eight, seven, six, and five. You're going to that down. We're going to the bottom. Back to the top. Down, down, up, and up. So they come down about midway through your 
chest. Ladies, that's low crawl line. Gentlemen, shoulders between the lower tank and the belly button. Now, three and one. Down, 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 and up. Nice and smooth. Remember, these weights, whatever you're using, they work in both directions. Now singles, pull and push. How's your belly doing? Pull it down, tight to the ground, as tight as you can. Your chest and your abs, they need to be working together here. She's gonna tear your arms apart. Eight on the pull, don't be eight, seven, six. Ah, oh, that feels so good. Take it the pop, drop the stop. Push up slow. One more like that. Catch it at the bottom. All right, guitar solo. Two, two, spin it out. Down and down. Ah. You know what? I'm probably going to go up again. Keep it coming. Pull and push. We got a break coming up, so you can adjust your weight there if you need to. Back to the drop and stop. Catch. Pull. Scoot it out to the top. One more. Let's punch it back in the air. Singles. Pull. Push. Yeah. Stay with me. Stay with me. Eight more. Keep your knuckles pointing to the ceiling. Almost there. All right. Super set. Sixteen pulses. Stay low, stay low. Stay in control. Press your shoulder blades down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. To the top and hold. All right. Take a break. Stretch. Get different weights if you want to. I'm going to revert this. All right. Reset. We're going to get right back into the work. Weight over shoulders. Three and one. Here we go. Pull, 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 and push. Ah. How much the two pounds of chicken skate? I'm about to find out. Back to those singles. Bring that power. Pull and push. I think it's distance learning. Drop and hold. And push it up. Uh, we should have been holding that. Okay, drop and hold. Two more, just like that. Catch and drive up. We're going to finish with a burner though, that I promise. Two, two, spin it out. Hold and push. Put your eyes on those weights. Are they moving smoothly through space? If not, adjust. No rest. No more breaks. Drop and stop. Catch it. And press up slow. Really freeze here. Freeze. Drop it up. Singles. How you feeling, Michelle? How you feeling? Pull that belly down, but walk the ball up from 
different from what we did last week. So you're going to go a little bit heavier here. As you know, we do a lot of clean and presses in our back track. I don't think there is such a thing as a body pump back track without at least, nope. at least one. We're going to have more than that, though. At least four. At four. least four. At least four. That's right. So I think I'm going to go with a pair of 12s. You can do whatever you normally want to do. You can go lighter, heavier. But let me warn you, we're going to do only four clean and presses in a row at first, and then we'll finish with eight clean and presses. But you do always have the option to do four clean and presses followed by four dead rows. All right. Water for me. Yes. And let's get going. Super slow, down to the knees. Just 
Just bring the weight down the front of your legs. Don't ever leave. They gotta stay in contact. Just skip. Now, down three, up one. Down, 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 up. Pull the belly up in. Especially at the bottom here. One more. You ready to bring it? Single head row. Knees, belly, knees, rise. It's coming. The reckoning. One more. We're going up. Clean and press, everybody. All right, now everybody, continue the single dead rows. Here we go. Knees, belly, knees, rise. Use the lat to pull it in. One more. Everybody, back upstairs. Take a breath. Now, you're either going to do eight of these, or you're going to do four and four. So it's either strength or cardio. Either way, stay with me or follow the show. Last two, come on. Make it count. Oh. Ooh. Oh, almost as good as the original song, but not quite. All right, how are your triceps? Mine are smoked because of yesterday. But let's really light them on fire right now. Yes. All right, this is a little tricky to do without a bench. Well, it's not tricky. It's just going to be tougher. I know, you're like, gee, thanks. That's exactly what I need right now. So, let me see if you can see me okay. Hello. All right. Hi, Julia. I was right on watch. She's all right. It's true. All right. I'm stalling, as usual. So, what are we gonna do here? We're gonna start with overhead tricep extensions. Then we're gonna come down. We're going to come down to benches. We have them. You don't need benches. You can do them on the ground. Just remember, for tricep work to actually be tricep work, it's all about elbow placement. As close to your midline as possible, whether your elbows are here or up here. So you're going to do those tricep push-ups on the ground, hands directly under your shoulders, and just press up and down. You want to try it without a bench? I'll, I'll do them on the ground. Add it, girl. Because I'll show them the option. Tabletop. There you go. And always remember, you don't have to do it on your toes. I used to be able to do them on my toes, at least for a little while. Not anymore. So I might be cheating a little bit too, because this one's a tough one. All right, so anyways, overhead extensions, you can go heavier there. I will go 12. Then we're gonna do some tricep push-ups. And then we're gonna do some tricep kickbacks. And I've got a five for that. And then we're gonna go back overhead on our knees. Ready? I'm not ready. I'm yes, just not ready. Let's go. Let's start on our feet. Grab that heavier one for the overhead extension. <sighs> All right. You can take one leg back to the kickstand if you want. That was our interest. A two and two. Down and up. Nice and smooth. Remember to keep the biceps close to the ears. Remember what we said about the elbows. Nice and tight to the midline. Down three, up one. Down, 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 and up. Take the weight to the back of your head. Full extension to the top. Last one. Single, under rip, down, and up. Ah. Now your shoulders, they want to creep up. They're trying to assist your triceps. Tell them no, not hard right now. You gotta stay down. This is between me and my triceps. No help from you. So push down out of your ears. Four. Three, two, and one. Go here, put that weight down, not too far, you're not done with it. Square up to the bench, go to the ground. Keep those elbows tight. Try to push up, two, and two. Down, down, up, up. Remember, to lean with your chest and not your forehead. A little more tense, down three, up one. Down, 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 and up. 
Elbows are straightening the ribs as you come down. Oh, have mercy! 16 singles, down and up. If you need to, remember to walk your knees in a little closer. Eight more. Now, this is tough for your triceps. I know that. But you gotta pull the abs in and make them assist. Last two. And hold here. Grab that smaller weight. Take your right leg up. Lean onto it. Kick back two and two. Up, up, down, down. Now you got four more. So the upper arm is already vertical. It's not vertical. Please. Half. Parallel to the ground. Bring your forearm parallel too. And that's a kick back. 16 singles. Up, down. Now your body wants to rotate to assist as well, but you're not going to do that. Shoulders square to the ground. Eight more. Eyeballs on that heavier weight. We're going to go back over head. Four, three, two, and one. Grab it. Over extended singles. Just get there when you can. Woo! Ah, oh, the little muscles on the back of your arms. Hold it up in the tight. Four, three, two, and one. Hold here. All right, we're going to do all that again on the other side. So you can just stay right here. Just so we do the kickbacks, we're going to use the other arm. We're going to start with these push ups. Two and two. Down and up. Remember what I can do this on my toes? I think we need that. That was the tip. Down three, up one. Down, 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 up. Push the knee with your hands. Up. Up. Brace everything you got. 16 singles. Remember, this is not all about your arms. This part of your body is going to pick you up as well. Eight more to go. Come on. Check five, check five. How you guys doing? Good? Thank you, Kimba! <laughs> yeah, shake out your triceps a little more. Holy tricep push-ups. Mm. Those are rough. 
All right, we're moving into biceps. So weight selection. You want to go light-ish because this is a small muscle group. So maybe five pounds, maybe eight pounds. If you're feeling super strong, maybe 10 pounds. Go for it. We have a combination in this rack. So I'm going to use eight pounds today. <laughs> Our combination is going to be one right single, one left single, three pulses in the middle. We're going to do that a few times, and we're going to change the combination towards the end of the track, where we're going to do two full range singles with both arms, and then pulse in the middle. Wow, these feel heavy today, so I'm going to have some fives nearby, just, you know, just for real measure. I've not, I've not recovered from last week's bicep trip. From last week's biceps? Biceps sneak up on you, man, like you think you're good, and then, oh, these are 10 pounds. This one was a 10 pound. No wonder I grabbed an 8 and a 10. Like, that feels not good. Okay, and remember you always want to keep those elbows close to the side of your body. You don't want to let those elbows float forward or come back. Just let them hang to the side of your body so those biceps do all of the work. All right, are we done sanitizing? Yeah, we sanitize. We all clean? Okay, all right, let's do it. So pick up whatever weights you're using. <clears throat> nice strong set position, feet under hips. Knees are soft, belly braised. Wait for it. We're gonna start with the combination. One right, one left. Right, left. Triple pulse. Three, two, one. Come again. So on that triple pulse in the middle, Make sure that you're just above, just below the elbow, not just top half. Step back, right leg, two and two. Up and down. So if you've got dumbbells here, go ahead and rotate so that your palms face your thighs at the bottom of the range of motion. We got one more here. We're gonna step in, back to the combo, right and left. Triple fall. Cherry needs to do it in structure right, which is the left. I'm still doing it, I can say that. I know. Start to feel that bite a little bit here. Those mid-range singles, at least I am. I don't know. I don't know about you guys. A little relief. Single bicep row. Down, pull in, knees, and rock. After recovery here, you've got one more. Step back, right leg, two and two. Good, nice smooth movement both directions. Like Sherry said earlier, you don't want any stop at the top or stop at the bottom. Continuous movement. Two more here. Step in, up one and hold. Up, hold, down for two. Up, squeeze. One more time. All right, here comes the combo. Single, single. Triple ball. You know what, you can do left, right. Right, left, it don't matter. Stay with it. Make sure you're dropping just below the elbow height on that triple pulse. Oh, two and two. Step back, my leg. My bad, my bad. That was the leg. Did you get blacked out? <laughs> Sherry says she thinks she blacked out for a second. See, that's what a teammate does. They cover for your back cueing. Two more here. We're going to go into that new combo, both arms, same time, two singles. Triple pose. Oh my god. Ow. Single. Single. All set. Oh mama. So if you're dying, you can stay with the alternating single. Ah. Oh. Two and two. Good news, this is the last 
straight on. All right, if you can feel that work starting to creep into your low back, soften the front knee and squeeze your butt cheek just a little bit. That's how you lock down the core. Keep the work in the biceps. Elbows still by the waist. Combo time, here we go. Two singles. Triple pose. Three, two, one. That's right. Making it rain, making it rain. Just sweat up in here. I love biceps. They just make me feel tough, you know? Rah. All right, we're going to keep the singles to the end. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to do a little bit of this. I'm going to do a little bit of this. Just get me through.
Three and one. Three, two, one. And up. that front thigh, trying to get it parallel to the floor if you can. And if you see Sherry's feet, get her hip width apart. Your chest, upright position, tall and proud. Those shoulders stacked over hips. Focusing on that front heel. Two, two. Woo! You sweating a little bit, Sherry? A lot. Oh, I got the sweat. Here it goes, let's go. Start a little tough, keep breathing. Inhale, exhale. One more. Drop and stop. Down. Don't move. Up. Four, two. Really work that. Um, what's it called? Eccentric contraction. At the bottom. No, not eccentric. I'll tell you when I think of it. Seven. Shake it out. Woo! All right. Put the, uh, bar the barbells down. That is hard to say. Bring the dumbbells down. Shake out your legs. Get ready. We're going to step back. Right leg. And squat. Other leg. Right. Middle. Left. And middle. Nice job. Keep coming. See if you can start to... Increase that range of motion a little bit. Step back a little farther. Sink down a little lower. You know what's better than one? Double pulse. Squat. Down and up. Other leg. Drop it low. Woo! Drop it like it's hot. Feels so good. I would sing along, but I don't know any of the words. Flotando. Orlando. That's all I got. Orlando, yes. Double, double. Pulse in the middle. Oh, mama. I know, I know. This is where the burn comes. We're here for a while, friends. Now your options. You can stick with singles. Or you can do a double pump plunge, single squat. How many more? I don't know. I think I blacked out a little. But so we're going to keep going till the music stops. Try to keep as low in those legs as possible. I think this is it. Oh, you're not! Oh, Sherry, really? You cheat me. Step back. Please be the end. That's it. Okay, let me just tell you guys something. Sherry prides herself on her musicality, which I must say is excellent. She can just like listen to the song and she's like, oh, do you hear it's got this chord and that chord and then it's got this kind of beat. And then there's a little syncopation right here, and like she's super good at all that stuff. So when she was like, it's over, I'm like, she must know she knows. She could feel the bars that was, it was done. It should have been over. It should have been over. There's a difference. Get it together, music people. Anyhow, good job. You got a little free little break in there. So shake it out. Stretch if you need to. We're moving on to shoulders. Grab some oh God, uh, light ish. Dumbbells, weights, whatever you're using. Fives, eights, what are you using? Eights? Man, I'm going to start with eights and have some fives nearby. Oh, good idea. You also, I know, I'm full of good ideas. You also need a mat or a towel or your carpet or something soft. Unless you want to do all of your push-ups on your toes. In that case, rock on. Push-up combination, we've got some two twos followed by four singles. We're going to use the weight for upright rows, overhead presses. 
That's it. Nice and simple. Simple, not easy. All right. So go ahead and come on down into your push-up position. Cherry's going to show you from the front. I'm going to show you from the side. Take your hands nice and wide. Knees hip width apart. Brace your belly. Lead with the chest. Two and two. Again. Four singles. Let's go. Four. Three. Two. Now back it off. Two and two. Oh man, look at you. Four singles. She's trying to make you look back. Two and two. Truth be told, the choreography calls for the slow ones on your knees, four singles, and the quick ones on your toes. Oh gosh. Shake it out. The share gets extra points. We're doing those slow ones on our toes. Grab your dumbbells. Set position. Up right row. Two and two. So dumbbells stay close to body. Elbows lead. High and wide. Your weights stop right around midline of the chest. Three up, one down. Three, two, one. Release. Keep that perfect posture. Glutes engaged. Hold this one at the top. Flip. Overhead. Single. Now you can step back into that kickstand if you want. Or split stance. Back it off. Two-two. That's where the magic happens, friends. Two more right here. Step it in. Push up and hold. Push press. Down slow. Push press. Two more. Come on, use your legs. Drive that weight up. Singles, go! Five, four, five. Four, yes you can. Up and hold. Shake it out. Yeah, we need more music. We're going to do all that again from the top. Hands wide. Push up. Two and two. Four big singles. Chest only going to about the crease of your elbow. Two and two. Four big singles. All right, we got one more set. Two, two. Come on, breathe. Great belly. Four singles. You got this, Sherry. Come on. One more, girl. One more. Ow! Shake it out. We're going to raise the roof one more time. Grab your dumbbells. I'm using five. I'm no hero. I'm no hero. Soft knees. Two, two, up, right, run. Sing along if you want. Raise the roof. Up three, down one. Soft knees, belly spray. We're gonna hold this one up, flip. Single. Oh, this is how it goes. We work hard, and then we work harder. Back off, two and two. 
lift that stance every time, any time you like. See if you can keep those elbows right around the shoulder height. Don't let it drop too low. Release this coming. Push, press, up and hold. Two more things. All right, singles to the end, let's go, nice. Come on, you can do this, you can do this. Up and home! Oh. Carefully release those dumbbells or waist down. Awesome job. Try to stretch your shoulders, maybe before you fall down on the floor, like Sherry, maybe after, whatever. Oh my goodness. Take that arm across. Other song. arm. It is such a good song, isn't it? All right. Woo. No rest for the weary. Going into some core work. So grab your mat, your towel, or your rug, or whatever you're on. And if you like, a light dumbbell, a light plate, a small can of beans as opposed to the large can of beans. We have, yes, we have some seat crunches, lifting both ends of the body at the same time. We have, we then have some, what do we have then? Oh, yes, shootout. the shootout. So arms and legs simultaneously out and in. Now we're going to roll it over into a hover. We're going to tap. Alternating feet, and we're going to add to that a spider push up. So, when you come into your hover, you're going to put your hands like this, just like that, into a diamond. Oh gosh, diamond shape. Mind your weights. That's all I need, you know, I'm all working out hard, and I get injured tripping over a tripping over a dumbbell. Sure. Sherry will do head on, I'll do side on. And yeah, we're ready to go. So let's do it. Oh, I like this song too. It's a good one. So if you want to use that weight, you're gonna hold it near your forehead like the brim of a baseball cap. Lift the feet. C crunch. Do two. Release. Small movement, go to the body, coming in towards each other. Think about bringing the hips and the ribs together. Up, quick and hold. Up, don't move. Release it slow. Now listen. Hold, right here, don't move, don't move. Shoot out. Singles, go. Out. And in. Up, quick and hold. Up, quick and hold. Arms and legs, about 45. Lift, lift, lower, lower. 
kids, sit back. Just sit back in a child's pose. Take a second. Never do two minutes and 53 seconds. Could hurt so bad, hurt so good. Well, if we hadn't just torched our shoulders. True, yeah. That might have been a little easier. Yeah, right? All right, let's stretch it out. Back here with you. How are you? Um, and if you're not joining us live, we hope that if you're watching this later tomorrow in a couple days, that you're having a good workout, um, that you're enjoying it. And we, as always, we can't wait to see you guys again. We're like chomping at the bit. I'm always waiting on the news. I'm like, has the governor said anything? Can the gyms open? We're waiting. We're waiting for you guys. All right. Hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Uh, we will see you next time. We'll see you on Thursday for Body Combat and CX Works, and again next week for Body Pump, unless we're open by then. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. Could be peaches, could be lunch meat. Do you know what movie that's from? <laughs> no. It's from Look Who's Talking. Oh, yes. Really, I'm really showing my age now. Oh, like they, could, they can come out when I was... Could be peaches, could be lunch meat. Watch the movie. It's awesome. Have a great night, guys. Bye.